about a Telefunken St Studio One M boombox as I bought it way back when. Okay, so am I in the way of both cameras? Okay. Um, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, well, here, let me just start this. Okay. All right, there's that. Let's see, where's the page? Well, okay, great. I just, so if I just hit enter, how about? This is as I bought it. You don't do that one. Okay, so this is as I bought it. There, there, there. There's the front of it. That, this view, that view, the back view, the label view, um, and then that view, this view. Oh, now, here, now if I can get it to stop. Now, go back. Back. There we go. What I want to show you here is that this came with uh, these two leads. This, okay. Well, anyway, so, uh, go back. How do you get this thing to stop? I don't know. All right, here. Next, next. I know it is. Hit the pause button. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, hit that. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> this has got, as you can see in both cameras here, um, the lead acid, sealed lead acid battery here, and the two battery leads, and I'll show you this yellow piece of paper in a moment, but that battery there came with the this battery here and you see this in this camera no not bright enough I didn't bring a flashlight okay well there it is in that camera okay great you should be able to see it here do I have a flashlight here yeah here's one here too holding too many things There you go. Can you see that now in the in the old camera? Maybe, maybe not. Whatever. Okay, there it is. Anyway, that's the battery that came with the Telefunken way back when. It's dead. You can still buy the battery out there in the world. Okay. So let's see. So, all right. Let us exit and shut this thing down. Well, wait, before I shut this thing down, let me get the other camera and wave it around. Let's see here. Get this camera turned on and hit video start. There we go. So, this camera here, which is a Canon FS100, and upload to my uh, Decent Man for You account. And this one over here is going to be the. Um, what the uh, cassette to go account, okay? Just so you know, and it's going to be about the Telefunken, which I'm just showing you here, right there, like this, and about the batteries and all that. There's the front of it. I'm so far behind in so many things that I'm doing. Yes, they'll ship it. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, that's it. Just a little teaser video with this camera here while the other two cameras are rolling along, okay? Are we having fun yet? I'm having fun. This is for Ernie, as I spoke to him yesterday about this radio. Okay, good day, bye-bye on this camera, the red one, the Canon SX-160. Good day, bye-bye. Look at that. Great. Turn that camera off. Okay. Now, where was I? Okay. I'm going to shut this camera off. The camera. Turn the laptop off. Great. Get that out of the way. Now, <clears throat> the next thing I want to show you is I just move this manually move this camera up. So bear with. I don't want to hit the button, power button. All right. So there's that's full on the battery compartment. And this one I have to move as well. Okay. So there we go. There's full on the battery compartment. Okay. So now it's got batteries in it. What I want to show you is that I have. The battery have a VOM, which is a voltometer. See that? Both cameras. Twisted around this wire here. Okay, I'm twisted on that. All right. Here we go. 
turns it on, it's showing 12.73 volts. You can see that in what? I have to move this. I guess I have to. I don't know if you can see that, but it's 12.73 volts. Okay. All right. Now <clears throat> it's plugged in. So if we turn it on, give it some volume. Radio works. If we flip it over to the tape and we hit the famous tape. Wait. Right. I didn't play I didn't get this thing out here to play that. But here's what I want to show you. Is that while this thing is plugged in and with batteries installed, it shows 12.82 volts. If I turn it off. Okay, and then remove the power cord, which is this here. Okay, this here is the power cord. The voltage stays at 12.74 volts, but if I turn on the power, like that, it jumps to 12.48 volts. Okay, and of course the radio is on. Let me turn the radio on. Alright, so there's the radio. Throw it on tape. Hit play again. Wait. Come on. Ah. There we go. Alright. Let's stop that. Now. The next thing I want to show you is that if I take a battery out, okay, actually take two batteries out, I lose power, of course. But now we have these two wires down here, this one and this one here, these two, which are still now measuring 0.6 or whatever volts. But now, if I, I remove two batteries, now if I take the plug, the power plug, the AC plug, AC mains or whatever you want to call it. And let's see. Get it here and plug it in. As I don't have it on his manual, and no one else seems to have one. Everybody has a service manual. I failed to show in the thing there. Golly. I can't get this to go in. Everything happens when everything works so easily in practice. Okay, there we go. Now it's plugged into AC. And again, I'll throw the radio on. There's the radio, and here's the tape. Alright, so that's the radio, that's the tape. Now, what I want to show you is that the voltage has changed from battery voltage to charging voltage of about 14.18 volts, roughly. Fluctuating. See that here in this camera here can you see that I can't see it in the screen but anyway, there we are so and of course if we turn the power off it goes down to zero or nothing or negative so there's no power involved there so what it's saying is that if you have it in batteries if you have D batteries installed in this unit it will work on batteries as it's supposed to when you plug it in with batteries it'll switch automatically from battery power to uh, working on AC power but if you do not have these kind of batteries installed and you have this installed uh, which is your gel cell sealed lead acid battery if you have that installed it will give you a charging voltage of 14 volts you got that I don't have an owner's manual and I don't have any other way of describing this but I'm trying to show you with a volt ohm meter so you can understand this that that's what it does okay so now let me discombobulate this and pull that off get this out of the way and like that now I'm going to take the rest of the batteries out because they're going to fall out anyway great now let's take the now this thing came if you seen that picture earlier in the video it came with this um, this 
little wire connector thing. See here, the, here's the wire connector thing. All right, came with this, which I believe is simply a shortwave antenna, which I believe plugs into the back there for an antenna to use on shortwave. Oh, that's right. Here, let me take both cameras briefly. I have to. Oh, this one's attached to the tripod. Okay, so <clears throat> let me try and give you a close-up view of this paper here. Hopefully you can see that in this right here. But that's the instructions for how to use um, anyway, you can read that. Try to read that. That's the instructions for how to use the battery uh, let's see. So where are we? Aim this camera again. Okay, so I aim it up there and flip this lens around. Okay, great. So now let me take the. You know what? Well, that's right. Okay, let me unplug the microphone. Now back to the onboard microphones. Pick this camera up. Flip it around so I can see. All right, and there you go. There's a up close and personal view of the inside. Of the, I got 11 minutes on this so far? Wow! Okay. <laughs> I have to shorten this up for you. Too much spent on the batteries. Oh well. Alright, so now, plug the microphones back in on this one. Alright. And I'll show you the rest of this. So where's the battery thing? Okay, here it is. Fold these back up in here. Uh, I'm not going to try and fight and put the SLA battery in there, but it will fit in case you're wondering it'll you just you know put it in there like that and it'll, it'll go in there but I'm not gonna sit here and fight with that okay so now it goes here there we go that's it it's, it's locked in now I'm gonna pick this thing up oh yeah so, okay and then all right so here it is here's the full Flip that camera around. Okay, great. So, let me zip in with this one manually because I don't have the. There. All right, that's close enough. I'm gonna put it. How's this one viewed? Right. Uh, let's zoom in. There we go. So, yeah, that's pretty good right there. Okay. So here we go. Here's the. Let me pop out the tape for you. Tape goes in like this. Okay, and um, tell you what, let me zoom in with this one real close. Let's see, this thing doesn't have a very good tripod. It's just, let's see here, is that? Here, I want to. Oh, golly. Oh, the other one. Well, about there is pretty good. Okay, this one here. Let me zip in manually with it show you the tape deck okay tape deck great so here we go here is the see it's on tape that's the radio obviously I could tune the radio but I don't want to go through all that all right so here hit play Fine, and then of course, rewind, you see that rolling along, and, oops, wait, fast forward, okay, and then back to play, Stop now. Yeah. Don't stop now. and you know it plays, and where's the eject, here's the eject up here, okay. I'll show you what's on the other side, I think it's, um, anyway, just, to get into what that is but anyhow there it is it plays both sides of the tape you flip it over it does not have auto reverse fast forward and rewind does work i have not recorded with this unit there are so many more things how much time i got on here 14 51 hell i gotta turn this off okay good day bye bye hope you enjoyed with that one here stop this one good day